Yo, 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 what is up, fam? Fan of here, guys. How you doing? Let me turn my ring light on. First video of the day. Uh, man, I started pretty late today, man. I, usually I wait like, I've been just waiting like four hours before I start. But, you know, I, I've been feeling uh, like really tired. And, uh, woke up at four, started at 11, guys. So. I'm not sure if it's going to be like a full day of reactions today. We try to do reactions every day. And if it is a half day, I'll write it down in my notepad because I'm not uh, really like I'll take one half day and then one day off per month. So that's that's the plan here, guys. Uh, I'm really trying to be dedicated with this and not trying to slack, so you know, kind of slacking today. Part of it's because of wrist pain. You know, we grinded out freaking 89 agility dead man mode and all this other stuff. And it, oh my goodness, bro. It's, we're waiting on this Powerball to get delivered so I can uh, maybe get some relief. But that's besides the point. Let's check out this video. The scummiest family on uh, channel on YouTube. The royalty family. YouTube's scummiest household. They've amassed over 20 million subscribers. Dang, bro. Subscribers by spoiling their kids beyond comprehension and lying about everything from their family history to their house being broken into. What's with YouTubers and, like, staging stuff, guys? Come on now. This is all while concealing an extremely controversial past by instead publicizing their modern stressful moments like not knowing which mansion to buy. The Family of Three created their channel back in 2017. Man. With the name like the royal family, bro. I didn't know about these guys, bro. I I'd expect like a news channel to cover them or something. But this is all news to me, bro. There, there's some big channels. They're just making a killing like this one. That we don't know about. And with a name like the royalty family, it should come as no surprise that Oh my bad, it's called the royalty family. Apologize, apologize. Materialism and self-image is their entire identity. Their early videos featured them wearing shirts stating King, Queen, and Prince, titles which they also unironically used during the interview segments, while the dogs wore Louis Vuitton clothing and went by the names of Princessa and <laughs> Man, Gucci's such a popular term now. And it's just that clothing brand, guys. Gucci. They began to blow up with videos where the parents spent stupid amounts of money on their son, such as eight-year-old takes parents' credit card, no budget at mall, and parents can't say no for 24 hours. With these... As, uh, why are the views are why are the views so low compared to TikTok, though? Like, some, some videos on TikTok have, like, a billion views, man kinds of unrealistic videos understandably annoying parents. I walked in and watched a segment of a video from the royalty family channel and it was so terrible. First, everyone on it had an unwatchable personality, but the real disgust was how materialistic slash money obsessed the whole family is. I feel like the parents just pimped their annoying kid out for likes and views. Hey, when they name a channel like that, you got, you kind of got to expect it, right, guys? And it's amplified when the kid has zero talent or personality. The parents responded by simply stating that their son wasn't spoiled without providing any actual evidence. Hey, bro. How did somebody even make a comment like this? Yo, these are on TikTok as well. A lot of people talking about him being spoiled. He's a spoiled brat. He gets what he wants. Honestly, it's just ridiculous. Before making... Guys, they're just rich and trying to get, show his, their kid a, a good life, man. The argument that they work hard so their son can have anything. And we work our butts off to give things to our kids that we never had growing up. Which is literally the definition of being spoiled. Despite the backlash, the royalty family gained a million subscribers after only one year on YouTube. Dude, we're one year in. Of posting daily, man, we're, and we're so far behind compared to these guys. But although with a growth in income, all but hey, they had their wealth carry them, bro. Also came a growth in flexing, highlighted perfectly by Cody Ko. The kid is wearing Fendi shorts, Dior socks, and Yeezys. The dad is wearing a Gucci shirt, Gucci shorts, and a Gucci bag. I mean, when they name their pet Gucci, 
kind of have to expect it now, now, nowadays, right, guys? Hey, it's like, I guess why it bothers me is because like the motive is very clear. It's like we're not doing this for family. We're doing this for money. Our eight-year-old son finally got his Lamborghini. His dream came true. While these videos are nothing more than clickbait garbage, it's probably not ideal to raise a kid in an unbounded materialistic environment. You can go to any stores you want. Farhan, all the stores that you want to go to, you can go to any store. Did I stutter? However, when these are clearly the values held by the parents, it's not like the kid has a choice. The parents likely justify the kids. Guys, I would do the same for my kid, bro. I, I, I try to be more like, you know, I, I wouldn't want him to get like in, in over his head like that one tragic story. Involvement by thinking that that I forgot about. It'll be set for life afterwards. Although in doing so, they're raising him with an entitled, unlikable attitude. You said you don't want it? No, because two back seats. Oh, you don't want back seats. No. At the same time, however, you could make the argument that the family was simply making what the audience wanted to watch. Guys, I would totally... I would, I would totally spoil my kid. As the video spoiling the sun almost always gained the most views. Throwing a dart on a map and buying whatever it lands on, 15 million views. Buying everything I touch blindfolded challenge, 11 million views. If you guess the price- Then they're making more money by making these videos, guys. I'll buy it for you challenge 24 million views. Pulling these kinds of numbers, they were missing only one thing to complete their terrible family channel arc, a mega mansion. Although in order to justify buying one, they'd first stage a video at their existing house, claiming that fans were showing up and pestering them. The premise of the video is that fans were outside of the house taking photos of the family. Come check this out, like look at this guy. This is like the fifth time I've seen him, look at this. Can you believe this? After which Ali goes outside to confront them, resulting in quite possibly the fakest interaction on YouTube. Hey, bro, why are you taking pictures of my house? Hey, bro, why are you taking pictures of my house? I love the show, bro. You think that's cool, bro? Rolling up in your Prius, you think you're cool? Dude, I'm a fan, bro. Yeah, so cool you, bro. I get a shout out. Very classy. Bro. Doesn't it, doesn't it happen to big YouTubers, though? Very classy, you guys. Diesel Patches dissected this little segment with some pretty funny commentary. Well, I'm a fan. Excuse me if I'm having a hard time believing that grown ass truck drivers are fans of a family vlogging child's kid channel. After confronting the. Hey, with um, 11 million views and stuff, I don't think it will be that. Uh, <laughs> they probably higher than, though. I mean apparent fans, Ali supposedly called the police, after which an officer showed up who was also more than likely an actor, with the whole situation being so traumatizing that the family was apparently unable to sleep that night. Guys, let, let's try to forget about what happened. Okay. We can get through this as a family. Reminds me of like Fousey live streams where it's just like, you know, the camera pointed at his bed and stuff. Family, we're here for each other. We're strong. Guys, what happened to Fousey, man? Is he still institutionalized? However, when they'd upload another video the following day titled, We Have Bad News, Guess What? It became pretty obvious as to why they'd staged the confrontation. The family used the fake incident to claim that they now needed a bigger house. With that being said, we have exciting news for you guys. Yeah, we're gonna move out, guys. Of course, never missing a chance to reinforce their materialism. What kind of house do you want? I want a big and modern house. I want a modern house. I'm a, I'm a big fan of modern house. You know that. Guys, we deserve a nice house. We deserve a house house with a pool. I don't know. Let's, let's go. Let's go look around. And also I want a nice view. Within only 10 days, the royalty family had supposedly bought their dream mansion. However, only eight months after this, the family was being evicted. So basically, guys, this is a 60 day notice to terminate the Tennessee, which means what the heck? To buy a new house and then they get evicted how we gotta leave the royalty palace in two months showing that they never owned the house in the first place the royalty family then moved to a new property where they'd take the chance to stage yet another fake video titled somebody broke into our new home live camera we just got news that someone broke into our new house as you guys know we just bought a new house the new royalty palace after stating that their new house was being broken into ali decided he didn't want to call the cops for the strangest reason i'm honestly not cool with calling cops <laughs> he called it when there's fans in front of his house come on now this is getting redonkulous bro on, on homeless people or what i don't know if it's a homeless person or not and he therefore decided to go and confront the trespasser himself he then shows crystal clear security camera footage of the break 
I know, right? DLSR footage, man. Proper lighting and everything. Good job. In, where the person clearly climbs over the fence. However, when Ali and his friend then show up at the house, they state that the intruder had instead gone through the gate. So ladies and gentlemen, that was the gate that someone came through. I know I notice uh you know they they say things like intentionally wrong just so someone can point it out it seems bro oh, it's open. oh it's still open you see it's still open when they find the intruder staying in the back house he gives a long sob story about how he's got nowhere else to go uh, leading Ali to become the hero by giving him a bunch of money so this guy's telling me that he lost his job and he's got nowhere to stay I don't want him stay on the streets can't be selfish uh, I'm gonna oh. give you some cash but I'm gonna need you to leave all right the video ends with Ali framing himself as a super compassionate person I truly <laughs> Well, nice plan here, bro. I feel bad. Like, every, people are going through a rough time right now. Although, hilariously, only four months later, their house was actually broken into by an intruder, during which they gave a completely different reaction. While during the fake invasion, Ali was so kind he didn't even call the cops, the real invasion instead began like this. Hey, can I help you, bro? But what made you think it was cool to come here? Call the cops. Call the cops. Yeah, 911. Are you serious, bro? Going to people's homes and sleeping in the back? Are you serious? Call the cops. After the intruder was escorted off the property, the family didn't offer him any money to go get a hotel and instead brought three police officers to investigate the now empty scene, which is pretty funny when compared to the first fake video. And it's fake, bro. Fake compassion, man. The guy. He was talking about like homeless people sleeping at his house and then this happens. However, it would then become helping our homeless that sleep at his, at his house come apparent that on top of faking their videos they were also lying about their own history as the family's extremely shady past began to get exposed brutally on the 1st of march 2021 the royalty family uploaded a video titled i am not Farhan's father truth revealed in which they explained that the son was actually from the mother's previous marriage and ali was therefore his stepdad i met Farhan when he was three years old i'm not his biological dad but i consider myself as his dad I love him to death. He's amazing. He's like my son. I treat him like my son. After mentioning that Ali wasn't Farhan's actual dad, the biological father came out of nowhere, creating a GoFundMe titled Help Me See My Son King Farhan from Royalty Family. Bro, this is sketch, man. Which explained the mother Andrea from YouTube channel The Royalty Family has not allowed the biological father... P even... even misspelled he forgot the d in uh allowed bro as well guys yeah lepin to see or talk to his son for ran lepin for more than four years and both the child and father have the same right in addition to the child is exploited and manipulated in social networks without the authorization of the father which was followed by the biological dad appearing on the dad challenge podcast where he'd spend over an hour completely exposing the family in the royalty family video mentioned prior the mother explained that she'd come to america to work as a tv host i came here for work as you know i'm a tv host <laughs> although what she failed to mention was that she'd fled from her life in colombia as an adult film star where she'd gotten into trouble with some pretty scary people she went to get out from colombia because she had a lot of uh, drug dealers that are uh, bothering, bothering on top of this Farhan had told a nice story about how ali and his mother had met i remember and then we ate, and then from that day, we had a lot of fun. Although in all actuality, the mother began cheating on her former husband after her and Ali met in a gym. They say that they meet in the restaurant, like a perfect moment, you know? Oh. They got so many stories for everything, man. So, so many narratives. So many narratives, yeah, guys. There's a bunch of liars about how she's just made. lying. Yeah. Wow. After the biological father confronted Andrea about her cheating, things got even crazier. While I'm driving, she crashed my car. She jumped out of her car, went to my window. She broke the window. The police came, take it to jail. Which was then followed by a confrontation in person before the family retaliated by spray painting the biological dad's car. When the father returned to the Dad Challenge podcast, Bro, do you think this is staged as well? It kind of, it kind of looks like it, man. These rich guys, for, and and we still don't know how he made his money, guys. The rich, or even the girl, uh, I don't know which one made the money. Like, 
just three months later. He claimed that Andrea's so entire life was a show for the camera. Where she show in the in the video that she is cooking, it's fake. Mm -hmm. It's all fake. fake. What we found out is that she yeah. is not present in their lives at all. She is a greedy, disgusting, selfish woman. Ali and her, they are married, but it is a business Marriage. relationship. They hate each other. They fight all the time. And Ali only stays with her because it's money. They are in it for money. And on top of that is the power of YouTube ad revenue, man. Everything, Ferran is strictly forbidden from accessing the internet under any circumstances. And this is what we found out as well. Ferran is completely and utterly never allowed on the internet. I don't even think Ferran knows how famous he is. Ali blocks him from every incoming anything. He's not allowed to have a phone with the internet on it. Ferran is not allowed to go to other people's houses because Ali cannot stop him from looking at the internet. And those kids get on the internet and see a video like this. It's over for Ali because... Dang, bro. No internet whatsoever, guys. What? What? Ali has kept this all a secret from Ferran this whole time. The podcast ended with Ferran's dad breaking down crying, although Andrea and Ali completely manipulated the situation by filming a TikTok in which they'd obviously forced Ferran to state that the biological dad was lying about everything. To be honest, bro, I'm just tired of this, okay? All this lies that he's putting out there about my mom, my family, it's just like... So tiring, it's like super annoying. Like, I've seen all the videos, all that disgusting stuff that he's doing. It's just, it hurts, man. It hurts to know that that's my dad. And it's like, it's sad. Somebody please tell him to stop. Bro, you can tell the video is scripted just by how the kid talks. In just the last week, Ferran's biological dad announced that after four years, he'd gotten a visa and was now in Los Angeles looking for his son. Yet after messaging the mother with the goal of arranging a meeting, she told him to talk to her lawyers, who don't respond to the dad's messages. Meanwhile, the royalty family's views haven't slowed down one bit. Hey, bro, they're still uploading. Although something deep down feels like over the long run, this channel will end in complete disaster. Well, that's kind of mean. Saying it will end in disaster. I'm just wondering how they made so much money, though, guys. The fact that, that Ferran can't even act at access of internet because Amon thinks he'll ruin the business. Yeah, they totally give him internet access. That's kind of sad, bro. I, I had internet access at the age of 12, man. Love how the only thing that... Uniform... Guys, I would totally spoil him, okay? Not... I, I, uh, 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 poor kid, they turn his life into the literal Truman Show. Loves being taught to hate his father. Alright guys, like, comment, subscribe, check out the original video. Guys. Uh, I'm reading comments, so please don't take it as my opinion. I'm just reading comments, guys, okay? Uh, I do all my reactions live on Twitch, so if you want to come through, say hi, you're more than welcome, and I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.